Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the new version of Google Chrome web browser. So there were some updates this week. Uh, some of them had to do with security, um, but I was waiting for this, which was supposed to actually arrive on Tuesday. But for some reason, uh, Google decided to wait 24 hours. And I'm wondering if it was because of the disclosure of some really bad critical security flaws exploded by hackers. Uh, one was disclosed on Monday, and we're not sure if it contains that fix here. Uh, maybe it still doesn't have it. But um, anyways, Chrome 90 is now available. has been released yesterday, Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. If you want to know if you have the latest version, go into the upper right corner in the three dots. Go into help and about Google Chrome, and you should be at this version 90.0.4430.72. That's if they don't update with another little minor update because of the security flaws that's been disclosed in Google Chrome. So the new version of Google Chrome, what does it have? One of the first things that it does is now includes a AV1 encoder to optimize not just for video playback, but also if you use the browser uh, in, in any way to have uh, video conference calls, for example. What is AV1? AV1 is a codec that actually compresses even more efficiently the video and audio, which means that it takes less bandwidth to have the same quality of video. So this could help a lot of people that have, um, you know, not super fast internet connections or sometimes shady internet connections that are just not really uh, you know going very well uh, all the time so this is going to be apparently an improvement in uh, making uh, good calls and good video on uh, networks with low bandwidth speeds there's a security feature this had been actually done in the past so when you connect to the internet of course your computer connects through different ports that have different types of data coming in through. So now the browser is blocking port 554 for HTTP, HTTPS, and FTP servers. Uh, and uh, this has been done in the past, and they had reverted the decision because some enterprise were actually complaining that they didn't have, you know, it was blocking some important stuff but after looking at the usage of that port, which is very, very low, they decided to put it back because it's security. Some hackers have actually found a way to attack our computers and our browsers in um, using the port 554. And so that made the decision for Google to actually block that port in the Chrome browser now to make sure that we stay safe on the web. Uh, there's a lot of developer improvements uh, under the hood for those that are developers. On the consumer side, well, you've got um, the ability now to paste read-only files from the clipboard instead of having to rely on the drag-and-drop. So sometimes you go somewhere and you have a read-only page. It you know kind of doesn't want to work in, in, in doing anything else. And, of course, one of the things of a read-only page when you go there is that it's you're unable to actually uh, do a copy paste and what people would do is they would click on it and drag it and that would kind of work well now the copy and paste will also work uh, some augmented reality um, changes with web R, uh, web xr so that means that if you are using augmented rea reality headsets on some websites apparently they've made this a little better Apart from that, a huge list of security fixes, so a lot of security fixes in here. If you don't care about the new features, but you do care that you want to stay safe, make sure that you actually have it uh, updated, at least for the security fixes. And so this is pretty much what we have to say. The next version of Chrome will be May the 25th, so in a little more than a month from now. So Chrome 90 is here. Check it out. Once again, you open Chrome. Uh, three dots, help, and about Google Chrome, 
and you should be at 90.0.4430.72 and that is as of Thursday, April 15th, 2021. Uh, if there is a security update that is issued for Chrome in the next uh, hours or days, I will of course talk about it here on the channel where we're always up to date to the latest news of what's happening. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.